Hello everyone! I hope that you're doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shekha and I welcome you to my channel. As always, I'm so grateful that you're listening, subscribing and commenting. I really appreciate the support. And in this one, I want to speak to you guys about past mistakes. I noticed this meme come up over and over again whenever I'm, you know, kind of going through INFJ Instagram posts or social media posts, uh, doing some kind of research or trying to figure out what video I'm going to do next. And over and over again, the same kind of post comes up about past mistakes. One of the reasons why INFJs have such a hard time letting go of the past is because literally every single day, every single moment almost, we sit down and we rehash the past in our heads over and over again, putting ourselves into a negative light no matter what we've done in the past, right? So we might have done some good things in the past, some many good things I'm sure in the past, I, I know I have, but in general, human beings and INFJs particularly have a really hard time focusing on the good things they've done in the past and it's very easy for us, to, especially INFJs, to focus on all the terrible things we've done in the past or all the bad things that we've done in the past. Maybe not terrible, but just little one-off bad things here and there that we look at and we're like, oh my god, I, I, I was a terrible person. I can't even believe that I'm still alive and I, I should be punished and I'm going to punish myself because no one else seems to be punishing me. And thus we spend our entire life kind of just going back into our pasts and looking at all the terrible things we've done or all the sins that we've kind of undertaken upon ourselves and then using those sins in order to berate ourselves on a consistent basis sometimes on an hourly basis every single day putting ourselves down calling ourselves names telling ourselves we're never going to amount to anything because we're just terrible human beings telling ourselves terrible things like you know you're going to go to hell and you're a terrible person and you shouldn't even be allowed to live and you know, things like that. And that. That's just the basic gist of it. I'm sure we say much, much horrendous, much more horrendous things to ourselves that we can't even name in public. But why do we do this to ourselves, really? I think one of the reasons why I wasn't as successful as I could have been in the past, and again, the reason why I'm not as successful as I can be right now, is because I put myself down on such a daily basis, or I used to put myself down so much more in the past, than I do now. But in general, INFJs have a tendency just to look at all the bad more than they look at the good within themselves. No one is perfect. And I've said this to you guys over and over and over again. No one on this planet is perfect. Not even a single individual, not even a single being on this planet is perfect. In fact, if you look at a lot of the religions, even the gods are not perfect, especially in Hinduism. A lot of our gods are very imperfect. That's why I really like the idea of Hindu gods because they're doing dastardly things as well, sinful things here and there, but then learning from them and then, you know, obviously not repeating their mistakes. And I think as a, as a human being, we can learn from their example and do exactly the same thing is that if you have learned from your mistakes and you've never repeated it again, then that means that that mistake was there for a reason. It was supposed to teach you that lesson. It did. And now you don't do that thing again, good. Now you don't need to go back over and over again and over and over again over that mistake, on that mistake, pondering upon it, thinking about it, berating yourself over it, because that mistake is done and over with, it's done. It gave you the lesson that it was supposed to give, you've learned from it, and now you can move on beyond it. But instead of moving on beyond it, as I said, as, as individuals, as INFJs, we tend to go back over and over again, over that same mistake, rehash it, tell ourselves that we're terrible people, call ourselves names, and then create a terrible scenario for us to live in. We just are living in a hell created by ourselves, in our own heads. And that's not the way that we're ever gonna progress on this planet or create any kind of impact on this planet because instead of actually doing the work that we're supposed to do, using our skills, our unique talents, our unique abilities to change the world in our unique way, we tell ourselves we're not good enough. We tell ourselves we're, we're sinful people or we're done, we've done terrible things. We don't allow ourselves to move past our past and to live in the present moment. We're not able to move past our past mistakes and therefore we spend all of our lives, all of our minds, all of our efforts in the past. We never move onward. 
and thus we're not able to live in the present moment and actually make an impact in the present moment. Every single time an INFJ even starts to think about making an impact in the present moment, they tell themselves, but what is the point? I am not a good person. I did all of these terrible things in the past. So why should I allow myself the opportunity to make a difference in the present moment? I should just berate myself, call myself names, and put myself down all day long, and that's the best way that I can deal with it. That's the best repercussion or the best... Um, the best way to balance things out because that's what we're looking for we're, we're looking to balance things out and unless we really put ourselves down unless we really incriminate ourselves and we call ourselves names we haven't balanced things out according to us according to things that go on in our heads our crazy heads but as i said as soon as the mistake that you've done has taught you a lesson and you haven't repeated it now of course if you keep on doing the same thing over and over again then I don't know what's going on with you, but obviously you're not learning and therefore there's something that, that needs to happen in order for you to change. But most people and most INFJs are very good at learning from our mistakes. In fact, a lot of times what I'll do with if I do make a mistake is I'll really rehash it over and over again and make sure that I learned everything from it. I just try to squeeze every little bit of information from that mistake so that it never happens again. You know, I've only missed one flight in my life and now, forevermore, I never repeat the same mistake that I made during that time. I was kind of traveling from one part of Thailand to Chiang Mai. I don't remember now where, from Krabi or something. I was doing a visa run of some sorts. Anyways, so I was coming back home and I was sitting in the, in the hall where, you know, they call your name and call the flight and all that stuff. And I was sitting there and I had earplugs on, uh, headphones on, sorry. I was listening to music. And I was relaxed and I was chilled out and I started watching this bunch of kids, a bunch of kids were traveling somewhere, I have no idea, they were playing and it was just mesmerizing to watch them. They were playing this and then playing that and they were just having so much fun, they were giggling, they were just so cute. Thai babies are so cute. Anyway, so I got distracted by it and obviously the, my flight was called and I didn't hear it. My name was called several times, I did not hear that either. And when I looked at the, phone, at the clock, I was like, hmm, my flight is late. And then an hour after my flight was supposed to leave, I went and checked like an idiot. Of course, it had already left because they had called my name several times. I didn't show up. And so, of course, then I had to leave the hall, something that had never happened to me before. Oh my God, it was terrible. And thankfully, I was able to take, uh, go to the bus station and take a bus back home, a 12 or 14 hour bus. It was really uncomfortable an hour flight and one, one hour long flight that I missed and then I had to take a 14 hour bus ride. It was, it was such a her, ter terrible thing, right? But I told myself, all right, I've done this one thing. Yes, I've never missed a flight, but I've missed it once at least, it's okay. I've learned from it. Now I never ever, I mean, I, I try as much as possible to pay attention to what the, what's going on with my gate. So I always try to sit as close to the gate as possible because at that point when I made that mistake, I was far away from the gate because there was no space next to the gate. I was like, next time, if there's no space, stand next to the gate just to make sure that you know what's going on with it. And so I try to make sure I'm as close to the gate as possible. I try to listen to the announcements. I take my headphones off if any announcements are coming up. And you know, I focus, you know, you're not letting myself go and start letting my mind frolic. And so again, again, I have not missed a flight since then. So I learned from my mistakes. Now, if I was an unhealthy INFJ, which I am at certain moments in time, but mostly I'm not, I would berate myself for that mistake over and over again and never let myself forget it and I'd hate myself for it and I'd never take a flight again because what if I miss it? Things like that, right? So we kind of overdo it as an INFJ. We kind of overdo the whole you're a sinner and let me kind of put you down and berate you and, and throw stones at you kind of thing. If we lived in the past, we would be like, all right, yes, throw stones at me because I've, I've made a mistake. And people were like, all right, calm down, person. Like, you haven't made such a big mistake. And you, they'll be like, no, no, no. And I'd just be like, yeah, throw stones at me. I, I'm a terrible person. I've done terrible things. And they'd be like, all right, fine. We're going to throw stones at you, but really don't deserve it. <laughs> I can totally imagine that happening in the past. So that's what INFJs do. We kind of over-exaggerate our past mistakes. And I don't think that's a good idea, as I said, because again, we're spending way too much time in our heads in the past, in our mistakes in the past, rather than living in the present moment and telling ourselves, all right, I've learned from my past mistakes. I can let them go and live in the present moment. And I'm actually trying to make an impact in the moment right now, 
rather than putting myself down over and over again and calling myself names, which is not helpful to anyone on this planet, let alone an INFJ, okay? So I wanted to share this with you guys because again, I know how terrible it can be and how degrading and horrendous it can be to put yourself down like this and to live in your past mistakes and to be haunted by them and to over-exaggerate them and never get over them. But the reality is if you want to be a healthy INFJ, if you want to make an impact on the planet, if you really want to live to your true potential, you're going to have to get over that. You're going to have to learn from your mistakes, move past it, and actually live in the present moment. It's so important, I can't even exaggerate the meaning of it. It's so, so, so important. If you guys have any questions about this, please message or comment below and I shall do a follow-up video on that. Again, thank you so much for your support. And if you want to support me further, you can do that by going to my Patreon or Ko-fi link. Thank you, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.